What's up guys, Sim here, and this is No Prep News, episode number 16. And this week for the main topic, we finally have some closure to a topic which we've been discussing a lot for the past couple episodes. But before we get into that, we got some comments to discuss this week. Comments from last week's episode. Anthony Billings, and he's talking about Jeff Lutz's new show he'll possibly be getting. He said it's probably going to be a fab show. Jeremy Brooks said this is going to be cool. Some in-garage race car stuff. Let's us see what really goes on. All the effort, what the money buys, and the work involved. And I thought that was a pretty good comment that he made. Because remember when we, they had the first mega race and we saw Jeff, Chief, the whole Midwest streetcar crew working on Chief's car, building the crow, getting that thing together. That's like the most in-depth car build we've seen on Street Outlaws. And now seeing Jeff Lutz possibly be getting his own show, doing just stuff like that, because that was so cool, seeing just the build aspect of them assembling the Crow. I mean, yes, that was like a super special moment because of what happened with the Crow and then coming back with it, doing it for the Mega Race. It was like super cool and special when they were doing that. But possibly seeing all that stuff like again in another show would be really cool. And that's something I'm really looking forward to hopefully be seeing in this new show. James Mills said, it's not just Jeff Lutz in this show, but it's Jeff Lutz, Asian, and Farm Truck as well. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if that is in fact the case, because on the last episode of Serious Talk, if you guys didn't check that out, go check it out. We mentioned a little bit about Project X, the hearse that Farm Truck and Asian have had for a little while, and they're building into what they call the ultimate sleeper. Now, I believe I saw in the background of one of the posts Jeff Lutz made while he was posting stuff talking about this new build show. So I'm wondering if we do end up seeing them build that car on that show and also too we've seen Jeff Lutz work with Farm Truck and Asian a lot so I wouldn't be surprised if we do in fact see Farm Truck Jeff Lutz and Asian all together on that show building cars whether it be building full-blown race cars whether it be building just like fun crazy cars like the Ghana Rail or the Farm Bird or stuff like that maybe do some upgrades to the Dung Beetle or something like that like I said Project X the crazy hearse that they're building or maybe we see Farm Truck and Asian build a car for No Prep Kings or something on that show or build a legit car for the list on that show. Like The possibilities are endless with what this show could possibly be about. DJ Bradley said, I hope the first episode is Jeff Lutz building his new car. And I think that that could possibly be what we end up seeing. Now, from the stuff we've discussed in the past about Jeff Lutz and his new car, I don't believe he's built this car from scratch because some of the pictures he's posted looks like it... Like, the stuff looks used. It doesn't look brand spanking new and all shiny and nice and that stuff. Unless he was just tricking us and posting pictures of, like, Mad Max or the Beast or the Evil Twin or the 57. Like, doing stuff like that. I don't think, though, it is a brand new car. I believe he bought something that was already pretty much assembled. And I'm assuming he just made his own changes to it. But either way, seeing him, like, acquire that car. Because a lot of people, and we see a lot of guys acquire like a roller or something like that they don't build the car literally from a like say betsy right now i build this into a car that is at the level to compete in no prep kings you don't see a lot of normal guys do something like that i mean most of the time you see guys get a roller and build that into a car so it'd be cool seeing jeff let's do something like that get a roller he talks about and goes through all this stuff that's bad on it, it has to like get rid of the cage rebuild that because it's bad rear suspension front suspension do all kinds of stuff like that and prep the car to how he wants to race it then see him drop his drivetrain and that stuff in it put his power adder on it put his own cage in it i think that'd be something really cool we could potentially be seeing on this show. Rusty Wells left a comment saying, I think Jeff Lutz is going to go back to drag week this year. After all, his records got broken by, you said Dennis Bailey, but I le believe you mean Tom Bailey, the guy in that wicked pro mod Camaro that made the first five second pass in drag week history at the final day of Hot Rod Drag Week 2019. That was so much fun to watch. Like, I had so much fun watching that that day. It was crazy. And it sucks seeing guys like Lutz and Larson not be there anymore because they're the ones that really brought Drag Week into the spotlight, got some crazy level cars to attend that type of racing. And I think it'd be cool to see Jeff Lutz come back to it. And again, with this new show, like I've been saying, the possibilities are essentially endless because what Jeff Lutz does in drag racing, he does like literally everything you can do. He races in all kinds of different events. He helps people build cars. He builds his own cars. He does all kinds of stuff. So it'd be cool to see like maybe... 
He goes to Drag Week and they film it for something for this show. Or he builds a car and they film him building the car, prepping it for Drag Week and that kind of stuff. For example, he has the 57. Say it's built and ready for No Prep Kings or street racing right now. See him make that change over and get it ready for Drag Week and do stuff like that. And see the changes that are needed to be made between just having the car specifically just race on the street or specifically just race on No Prep Kings and change it over to where he's able to drive it and do something like Drag Week. Again, another really cool topic and really cool idea that we could potentially see in this new show. Mike Moose left a comment regarding the picture I showed you guys last week where Jeff Lutz showed the 57 and then next to the 57 was his new car under a tarp. So we couldn't actually see his new car. But Mike said it looks like the rear of a Corvette. Now, I've seen a lot of people think it's the Firebird Trans Am, like 2000s-ish body style of that stuff. That's what I think it is. But again, you could be right. It could be a Corvette or something like that. Who knows? Again, we'll just have to wait and see. And I have some news for you guys for the main topic of when we will be seeing that. Then moving on over to Tony Gonzalez. He said, bring Megalodon back. That comment had 20 likes. I think that's the most likes we've ever had on a no prep news comment. Now, I apologize for this. But what happened to Megalodon? I thought he was one of the guys that raced in no prep kings and all that stuff. I apologize. This like this week specifically, I was I'm I've been out of it because I've been so busy with school and stuff. I've been re- having to read all these books and stuff. And man, reading takes forever to sit there. I got to read like 50 pages of one book, 75 pages of another book. It just takes forever. So unfortunately, I've kind of been out of it a little bit this past week in the past couple weeks. But what happened to Megalodon? Is he not Racing and No Prep Kings anymore. If you guys know, leave a comment down below. Definitely something I'll try and look into this week. And we'll be discussing next week. Then Zeus said, this is regarding to the mega race. Possibly seeing Reaper and Alex Lofton. And a lot of you guys didn't want to see that at all. I was actually surprised. But Zeus said, at the time of Mega Race 1, Big Chief was number 1. At time of Mega Race 2, Ryan Martin was number 1 on the list. And Reaper... He's never been close to number one on the list. So taking that into consideration, I don't believe we'll be seeing Reaper and Alex in any kind of mega race anytime soon. Considering Reaper, he's never really, like I said, never really been close to number one on the list. Then Wayne Foster said, I don't know if it's the same car, but Disco Dean was at the pad in New Orleans a few years back with a small tire blower car. Now that small tire blower car was the car they built on the Horsepower Wars, if I'm not mistaken. It was like a third-gen Camaro with the blowers sticking out of the hood, the crazy zoomies coming out. That car looked wicked. And yes, they did street race it at the pad a little bit here and there. I don't know if he still has the car, if he plans on bringing the car to something like No Prep Kings. I'll try and look into that some more because, to be honest, I really don't know who currently owns that car. I'll try and get some more information for you guys for that for next episode. But if you guys know, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. That's all for the comments. So this week, time to get into something which we kind of discussed last week, Dominator. And now he's just, Dominator's just such a nice guy. And this was really cool from Daddy Dave. He got together with his uh, trailer sponsor and they ended up giving Dominator his old trailer. Daddy Dave ended up getting a new trailer from the sponsor and he's like, how about instead of you guys selling this trailer, we donate it and give it to Dominator. So that was pretty cool to see. Like I said, Dominator, he's just such a cool, nice guy. So seeing something like this happen to him was really cool and heartwarming to see. And now time to get into the main topic. Again, I apologize, we're already in the main topic. But like I said, this week I've been pretty busy. And unfortunately, I just have time to go on the old interwebs and find all kinds of news for you guys. But still, we're making the most of it this episode. And the main topic this week is again Jeff Lutz. And finally, like like I said at the beginning of this episode, we're bringing closure to this topic, which we've been discussing the past couple weeks now. And that is, when in the heck are we going to be seeing this new car? He's been posting all kinds of stuff for it. He's been hinting at it for weeks now. It might have even been months now. Jeff Lutz has been hinting at this new car. Oh, I've got a new car. A new car for No Prep Kings. What should I build for No Prep Kings? What do you guys want me to build for No Prep Kings? What kind of power adder should it be? How heavy is it going to be? Is it going to be aerodynamic? He's been hinting at all kinds of stuff. And he finally announced, when we will be seeing this car. Jeff Lutz made a post on his Instagram. Said, everyone is asking when I'm going to unveil the new car. And it will be at Tucson for the first No Prep Kings race. In the very first No Prep Kings race, Tucson Dragway in Tucson, Arizona. 320 and 321. March 20th and March 21st. 2020. And as of right now, that's one, two, three, four, five weeks away, about a month away until we will be seeing Jeff Lutz's new car finally being revealed. What 
that thing is. I'm sure he's going to be posting some more hints and clues and stuff throughout the next five weeks. And I'll be sure to talk about it here on No Prep News. But we will finally have the, we will finally see the car in five weeks at the very first episode of No Prep Kings season number four at Tucson Dragway in Tucson, Arizona. Finally, we will see what Jeff Lutz's new car is. Let me know what you guys think it is. Uh, most of you, I believe, agreed that you think it is one of those 2000s Firebird or Trans Ams. A couple of you guys said it could be a Camaro. Some people said it could be a Corvette. I personally believe it will, in fact, be one of those Trans Ams. What do you guys think about it? Leave your comments in the comment section down below. For weeks now, Jeff Lutz has been hinting at building a new car specifically for No Prep Kings. And he will be revealing that car to us at the very first episode of No Prep Kings season number for March 20th and 21st in Tucson Dragway in Tucson, Arizona. Then we will finally get to see what Jeff Lutz's new car really is. So that is all. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching to the very end of this video. I really appreciate all of those that literally watch the entire video. Thank you all so much for that. Make sure you guys tune in this Monday for a new episode of Red Light Questions, this Friday for a new episode of Serious Guys Talk, and next Sunday for a new episode of No Prep News. All the videos upload go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, so make sure you guys click that little bell, turn the notifications on so there's a single video that I upload. Again, all my videos go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, and make sure you guys leave your thoughts and opinions on all this stuff we discussed in in the comments section down below. Top comments from this week's episode and some of my favorite comments from this week's episode we'll be discussing at the beginning of next week's episode of No Prep News. And make sure you guys check out the Betsy merch. Shirts and hoodies are still for sale at smoothiecxyz.weebly.com. First link down below in the description. I also set up a PO box. So if you guys want to send me stuff, address is down below in the description. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at SimABCXYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is SimABCXYZ signing out.